more than spiritual awakening, mm -hmm. because I think it has been demonstrated that, especially since uh, uh, September the 11th, That's that right. there has been an increase uh, in uh, spiritual activities among many segments of society, and et cetera, right. mm -hmm. and we want to explore that this morning. Mm -hmm. But before we get into that, uh, Dr. Arthur, let's have you to uh, talk about your background, mm -hmm. your education, and mm -hmm. some of the information that was important mm -hmm. in terms of your life and eventually leading you to uh, the pastor mm -hmm. of the Word of Life Christian Center. Mm -hmm. After which we will talk about uh, something about spiritual awakening. Mm -hmm. uh, you can define that, and then we'll get into the show. For today. Uh, uh, thank you, Dr. Haney, for inviting me. And uh, uh, I'm uh, originally from Ghana, West Africa. I was mm -hmm. born there. I uh, went to high school there, and then came to the United States to University of New Orleans. Uh, did my undergraduate work in political science, mm -hmm. and from there went into Ohio State University in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, for my master's and PhD in international politics. Mm -hmm. After which uh, I was uh, invited to uh, for an interview at Tennessee State University, mm -hmm. which happened to be then my first uh, job uh, in my career, uh, where I worked for eight years, mm -hmm. and then from there to Austin Peay State University for another year, and then uh, to Fisk, where I ended up staying there for 10 years, mm -hmm. um, uh, during which uh, I was uh, appointed as a executive assistant to the president of the university and mm -hmm. thereby had some responsibilities for administration along with my professorial duties. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, but in between all of that came a time when uh, I had a call mm -hmm. uh, of uh, the God that I served to the, the living God. And uh, in 89, 1989, it really coincided my time of uh, work at um, Fisk University. And so then I began this uh, ministry, mm -hmm. a church in my home, and gradually grew to the point where now we are on Clarksville Highway, uh, we call it a church on a hill right next to Kruger, mm -hmm. called Word of Life Christian Center. Uh, it used to be directly across the Low Riders uh, mm -hmm. uh, Church, uh, uh, not church, Low, Low Riders Club, Low mm -hmm. Riders, Low mm -hmm. Riders Club. Uh, and uh, so uh, we, uh, we've been there uh, for two years now, and we believe in God for more work in the community mm -hmm. and have an impact in this city uh, for, for the Lord. Also, I need to say that I'm married uh, with uh, four children uh, and uh, one uh, who works as a youth minister in, in our church. Uh, he's made me a grandfather. And then uh, there is a, a second child who finished from Fisk University and working on her master's and now lives in Washington, D.C. with her husband. A third child who is doing her uh, medical uh, training at uh, Meharry Medical College, uh, going into her second year. And, uh, and, uh, and a, a baby child uh, goes to Fisk University now, also going to her second year at Fisk University. And so uh, you can tell the other family is kind of kind of spread out and loaded mm -hmm. with all kind of work being done for the Lord. And then finally, I need to say that I have uh, been given, as I said earlier, a, a wife who has been a wonderful uh, partner. Uh, uh, we get, we've been married since 1991. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, uh, this is my second uh, marriage. And, Mm -hmm. it's, been, it's been very wonderful, and so I thank God all that has made it possible for me uh, today to do the work that I'm doing. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Dr. Arthur, I think one of the things that uh, we've indicated earlier that uh, since uh, September 11th, mm -hmm. there has been this increased uh, awareness <coughs> of things that are of a spiritual nature. Mm -hmm. But now, when you talk about uh, spiritual awakening, uh, let's give our audience some kind of definition. Yeah. Let's give you, uh, mm -hmm. before we talk about uh, some aspects of yeah. uh, spiritual awakening. I, I think that what we need to even do before that is mm -hmm. to understand that we are spirit beings. And I think mo most people don't recognize that. Mm -hmm. And because they didn't know that, uh, if you talk about spiritual awakening, they, they don't seem to really mm -hmm. relate to that. But if we were to accept the fact that we are spirit beings, then spiritual awakening will make more sense to us. When okay. God made us, the Bible tells us we were made in his own image, in his own likeness. And then in John 4, 24, God, through his son Jesus Christ, made it clear to us that he, God, is a spirit. And as a spirit, if I was made in the image of God, then that makes me also a spirit. And uh, yet, a spirit is invincible, and for me to be seen, mm -hmm. it makes it a little difficult, you know. And so, why is it that if I was made a spirit, that I can somehow or another be seen and be visible, mm -hmm. and, and because other spirits are not seen like angels as we know? Mm -hmm. But what God did was is that He made this earth for man, mm -hmm. and in this three-dimensional planet that we live on, that it became necessary for us to be put into mm -hmm. a body, uh, mm -hmm. an earth suit, we call it, mm -hmm. uh, which is a body that we carry. And most people think that we are bodies and minds. And that's all. But mm -hmm. or the, the, the root of man is a spirit. Mm 
mm -hmm. uh, and that we are spirit beings. And therefore, when we talk about spiritual awakening, mm -hmm. it is a recognition of recognizing mm -hmm. and, and becoming aware of who you are and awakening to the fact that you are a spirit being and thereby looking into the things of the spirit as being more primary mm -hmm. and more principal mm -hmm. than if you may physical or mental things mm -hmm. that we do. Now you and I haven't been trained in, in academia over the years and mm -hmm. I had the pleasure of working with you at Tennessee State mm -hmm. University for, for a while and uh, we, we, we're all involved in in intellectual exercise and all yeah. that, and that, yeah. there's a place for that, no mm -hmm. question about it. But ultimately, we have to go to the roots of man, and, mm -hmm. or, and that root of man mm -hmm. is a spirit. And therefore, spiritual awakening is recognizing the fact that you are a spirit, mm -hmm. and thereby learn from then on mm -hmm. what you're supposed to do as a spirit being. And that's something that I'm here to talk about today. You know, uh, uh, so uh, a person who is not uh, aware of being a spirit that is, is not aware of uh, the invisible part of himself mm -hmm. or herself yeah. cannot be spiritually, uh, must be spiritually awakened in order to may, be aware. Is that what we're saying? That's what we're saying. That's what we have to come to the recognition that because sometimes we think that we go to church and we do the things that are religious and we, in a way, substitute that for that spiritual awakening that is necessary. And so therefore, people often think, well, I go to church, I'm all right, and so that's fine. No, there is more to that than that. We mm -hmm. want to be able to go beyond mm -hmm. the visible, go beyond the mundane, go mm -hmm. beyond the usual, and mm -hmm. get deeper into the realm of the invisible, the realm of the, what I would call a preamble mm -hmm. uh, to the constitution, the real man, in a mm -hmm. sense. And so as time goes on, uh, we're going to uh, 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 get deeper into it and mm -hmm. hopefully show people how it is that you can get spiritually awakened by doing certain specific things mm -hmm. that, that is required for you to move into that mm -hmm. realm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and so there are uh, indications that you see around you every day that, that, that folks stand in need uh, yes, right. for this. And I think that that's the thing that is really certain, sometimes saddens me. There's mm -hmm. a certain uh, desire on the part of people uh, to meet this need that they have in themselves, that they, mm -hmm. they recognize that they must be awakened to something, they recognize that there's something that is on the horizon that mm -hmm. they must look into, they must investigate, and then they go on various levels, the various paths of mm -hmm. discovery, never get to the real root of it. Mm -hmm. And that's where the problem usually comes, and people often, for that reason, will replace the root of, the, of who mm -hmm. they are, which is, in this case, the spirit, with all the things such as drugs and mm -hmm. in, in, you can name it, of things that they are using to substitute for mm -hmm. this. But the moment you find out who you are, and therefore then you know that you are tied to the father of all spirits, mm -hmm. which is God, then you want to make sure that you want to do something about it. Mm -hmm. For example, you know, as, as you know, if, if you take a plant out mm -hmm. of the soil, mm -hmm. that, that the plant after a while will wither and die mm -hmm. because the plant needs to be in, in its environment mm -hmm. that nurtures it, which is the soil, mm -hmm. with its nutrients to keep it alive. Mm -hmm. Now, in the same way, if you take a fish out of uh, the water, mm -hmm. that environment that gives it life, that, mm -hmm. that, should, that that fish will ultimately eventually die. Mm -hmm. Well, you come to man. If you take man out of the, the, the soil, of his existence, in this case, the mm -hmm. father of all spirits, mm -hmm. then you get to the point where man will also, and so we'll get to, the, to that more and we'll talk about it as we yeah. go on. Very good. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, uh, Dr. Arthur, we are coming up to our first uh, commercial break, but what you, uh, you're saying is that there's a little uh, God in all of us mm -hmm. and we simply do not recognize that yeah. and that uh, you're going to give us some information during the second segment yes. as to how some kind of steps that we might be able to yeah. uh, follow Amen. in order to become more aware of who are we are spiritual beings. Amen. And of course, we'll be uh, back with our audience following this very, very short mm -hmm. our commercial break. Welcome to uh, the Reverend Dr.